This tutorial is to explain the three ways to utilize the audiometry protocols within your screening process. As the hearing screening process can vary by location, the EasyTone offers multiple ways to perform a hearing screening. Option one are for those screeners always needing to collect threshold measurements. Selecting an audiometry protocol prior to starting the test is the best method. For screeners that want to start with a sweep screen and only transition to collecting thresholds upon a refer result, then there are two additional options. The first option is to start with a screening protocol and collect all results for both ears. At the completion, when a refer or could not test is identified within the results screen, an add peer tone audiometry button is displayed. By selecting this, you will return to the test screen with an audiometry protocol selected. The first frequency with a refer value will be selected for continued testing. Perform threshold measurements for any frequencies requiring additional hearing level verification. When finished, select Finish Test to move to the results screen. The second option is to transition to collecting thresholds upon the first refer result. Immediately stop the test with the first referred frequency for that subject. Simply select Stop Test and select an overall result. The Easy Tone will move to the results screen and an Add Peer Tone Audiometry button can be selected. With this method, you can capture the threshold value for the referred frequency, but also continue testing using the audiometry test method for the remaining frequencies. Switching back to the screening protocol is not an option. With these two options, both screening and audiometry results are stored to the subject. To review both results, select the arrow button When printing, both results are displayed on the report. One tip, when the device has multiple screening and audiometry protocols created, place the audiometry protocol below the screening protocol that it relates to. The EasyTone automatically selects the first audiometry protocol below the screening protocol within the list. This will eliminate the need to change the protocol from the drop-down list and allows quickly continuing on with the test. When using either option of starting with a sweep screening and transitioning to collecting thresholds, the screening list will display an icon for both results. The icon on the left is always the screening result and the icon on the right is the audiometry result. The icon that is larger reflects the easy tone defined overall result for that subject. This completes the tutorial on three ways to utilize the audiometry protocols within your screening process please continue through the tutorial series for additional EasyTone instruction.